Yes, our racing friends and fans, members. We're practicing for Daytona tonight. Uh, Rudy will be hosting it on MaxSpeedTV.com. MaxSpeedTV.com if y'all want to check it out. Uh, race starts at 8 o'clock Central Time, 8 Central, 9 Eastern. Um, and uh, the drone, the drone has been delivered to DJI. I know y'all are getting tired of hearing about the drone. But all the drone fans out there, um, uh, it has been delivered. They got it today. So I'm expecting, I guess, between tomorrow and next week of them, I guess, sending me an email or I don't know how they do it. Call me. They got my number, too. So they'll probably just send an email um, saying that, uh, you know, whatever they, what's wrong with it or they got it fixed and they're shipping it back out or whatever. I'm sure it's something minor because it flew and all that, but I just didn't have my camera, GPS, battery, SD card info and all that. Like I said, all that was grayed out. That was after I did their firmware update. Uh, so the drone, if it got uh, near an airport or I went to somewhere and I didn't know an airport was nearby and it sensed it or whatever, it would not take off. Um, and that's why they call them a drone or a UAV. A lot of people are calling them quadcopters. They are not quadcopters. They are drones simply because you can put in uh, waypoints, hit go, and it will automatically fly, take off by itself. All you can control is the camera, and it will do its mission, however many waypoints you have in there, and uh, your altitude, five, six, 400 feet. FAA uh, is 400 feet in the United States. Um, so uh, I know a lot of you drone guys are going up to two, 3,000 feet. Uh, that's crazy. I just wouldn't do it because I'd be afraid I'd lose the dadgum thing and I wouldn't find it and there goes $1,500 down the drain. But uh, anyway, uh, drone is there. Hopefully, I'll get it back next week or week after. I'm hopefully next week. Um, but we'll see. Probably time.